Hi everyone, Shireen here. Welcome to my kitchen. Just uh, making a quick dinner here. It's uh, summertime and uh, pretty hot. So my vegetables are all in season. I thought, why not make something that looks um, appetizing and healthy for my family? What I've got here is I'm gonna do like a, a stir fry, but I'm gonna do a zucchini pasta instead of your traditional pasta or rice. So I've already taken the liberty of um, peel it, washing and peeling some of my zucchini. Some I, I cut, I take off the entire green. Other I leave it on just again for color. And here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take my peeler and I'm just gonna start to peel. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna see some really nice thin like noodles, which I'll be adding to my stir fry right at the end. So what happens, you'll see some nice thin like noodle types. I'm gonna add those. I'll be using the rest up later. Then I'm also going to be putting in an onion. Um, I like to try to even do a red onion, again, just for some purplish color, but I ran out. So here we go. What I do is I just cut it in the middle. And then you can either leave it really big, you know, like you see in Chinese or Asian cooking, or you can quarter it and I will just start to peel it off here. A mixing bowl from Pampered Chef, and uh, they come in a set of three, but this one I'm using is the four liter. And as I start getting all of my stir fry ingredients together, I just pop them in here, and that way I can just dump them into my wok as soon as um, I'm ready to. I have already cooked my meat. I'm doing chicken tonight, and I've already placed in my garlic with a bit of a uh, bit of water and a bit of oil. I try to do a, sort of a half and half. I know oil and water don't really mix, but I try to minimize the amount of oil I put in there. So there we are, that's that. And then after that, I'm going to show you, which I've done on a, a separate YouTube video, but show you how I cut a pepper, just to minimize the number of seeds that I end up getting in my meal or stuck on my teeth. So here we go, I've got myself a nice red pepper. I cut off the crown, just like this. That also makes it flat, makes it easier when I'm going to be cutting it. You'll notice that usually when you buy a pepper, there's sort of like the three bulges and there's already the indents here in your pepper. So what I do is I just take my knife and I don't cut all the way in, but I follow these indented lines down. Whether there's three or four, just depends. And then I kind of crack it open like you would maybe a pomegranate. Um, and I take out the membrane or the, the pith, however you, uh, you term it. I'm just adding it to my compost section over here. And then when I get to the actual Usually there's a big chunk, like you'll see it here when I break this one off. There we are. And then the majority of the seed actually stays usually with one third or one quarter, depending how your, your pepper slices. And then I can just pull this right out. And I cut out this final bit and I don't have seeds everywhere, either on my floor, my counter or in my meal. It's that simple, just that simple. Then I will do a quick, um, I'm not gonna do an actual like thin julienne or anything. I'm just gonna do it a little bit thicker, some random shapes, kind of make it fun. My kids like that. And pop it in here. So that is how I would do, continue doing my pepper. Next up is my carrots. Pampered Chef's peeler is amazing because it, you can go either way. So watch this. Look how fast this peels. Done. Totally peeled, done, ready to go. I'm gonna add all of this to my walk right here with my chicken. 
Um, and then when it's done, I'm gonna be putting it in one of Pampered Chef's insulated bowls. This is the smaller bowl, which is a uh, two quart uh, bowl. It is triple insulated and will keep your food hot uh, for up to two hours. It will also keep your food cold for up to two hours, depending how you do it. You notice here that this is our lid. It just goes nicely on here so you're not losing your lid um, in process. And on the, on the top is a vent, which is how you actually will close your lid and open your lid. And inside, snapped on top, is for your spoon or your utensil rest, depending on what you're using it for, a salad, soup. Um, I'll watch in another video, but I will show you that this is absolutely leak-proof. Once you put the lid on, close, and you can just go anywhere you want with this. Nothing comes out. So that's where my hot stir-fry is going to go when I'm done. Tell me, what's for dinner?